Hi guys, it's Tyler here. Let's talk today about a solution that has resolved a lot of people's problems when using Elementor, Elementor Pro, or Elementor Cloud. One of my best performing YouTube videos ever has been how to fix common issues that people face when using Elementor. And in this video, I talked about the third solution, which we're gonna discuss today, which happened to solve a lot of people's issues. Before we jump in, if the solution we talk about today does not solve your issues, I do wanna recommend taking a look at that video and seeing if any of the other four solutions that I mentioned in that video can solve your issue. Another extremely important thing to note is that Elementor Pro and Elementor Cloud both come with support options. If today's video does not give you a solution, I highly recommend that you check out the links down below in the description to either Elementor Pro if you're using the free version of Elementor on your WordPress website that is already hosted, or Elementor Cloud if you're in need of a host and haven't yet set up your site. Both of those options will provide you with support so you can actually have someone help you directly from Elementor. I have used this support in the past and I've actually had Elementor developers go into my website, tinker around a little bit, and resolve the issue in a matter of just a few minutes. The whole process just took hours to complete, and when I was done, I was back on my feet with my website ready to go all over again. So if you guys are looking for support from Elementor, I highly recommend upgrading to Elementor Pro or Elementor Cloud down below from the links in the description. Now let's talk about today's solution. I'm logged in here in the back end of my WordPress dashboard, and I've gone ahead and logged in with my admin account. Now over here on the left, I'm gonna hover over Elementor because I already have it installed. I'm gonna go over to Tools, and under the General tab, we're gonna look at two tools here today. The first is Safe Mode, and the second is the Debug Bar. And you'll notice both have options to disable or enable. And just a side note, these are the exact steps that Elementor gave me to actually diagnose my problem in the first place. Briefly, let's talk about what each of them does. First, safe mode allows you to troubleshoot an issue by only loading the Elementor editor. This means it does not load the theme and it also does not load any plugins. And I believe this is what was crucial in my last video to helping so many people solve their issues was just simply safe mode. Because what happens is your theme sometimes doesn't work well with Elementor or your plugins that are third-party services sometimes just don't mesh. Our second solution that we're using today is the Elementor debug bar. I'll show you what this does in just a minute. First, let's go through safe mode. So we're gonna go ahead and enable safe mode and click save changes. Now, because there's such a wide range of issues or bugs or problems that you could be facing, I can't really tell you exactly how you're gonna be able to know if this fixes the issue or not, but I recommend going back through and finding the problem and checking to see if it's working. For me, I'm gonna say the problem was in my development of my page. So I'm gonna go over here to pages, go to all pages, I'll go over here to home and hit edit with Elementor. And when I'm editing with Elementor, you'll notice that the Elementor loader actually comes up with a pop-up at the bottom right corner now. As you can see, it says safe mode on and it says editor successfully loaded. And so if the editor actually successfully loaded, what it's gonna tell you here is that the issue is within your theme or it's within your plugins. And just a side note, I recently put out a video on how to find and diagnose plugins that have problems with Elementor. So I definitely recommend you check out this video if this is where it resolved your issue. If safe mode actually resolved your issue and the editor loads up correctly, I definitely recommend taking a look at that other video I put out to help you figure out which plugin is causing you the problem. If you're still experiencing issues, they do have a section right down here that says still experiencing issues. You can click here and it'll actually take you to an Elementor help page, which gives you additional options and solutions. But maybe that didn't resolve your issue. Let's return to Elementor tools page and under the general tab, again, we're gonna go ahead and click on this debug bar and enable it. Go ahead, disable safe mode and hit save changes. Now it may appear that nothing really changed on your website, but as we are logged into our admin account in our WordPress website, we have this admin toolbar right up here. And if we hover over our website and click visit site, we can go ahead and have more options on this admin toolbar. One includes the Elementor debugger. As we hover over the Elementor debug bar, you'll notice that there's two options. 
a page template, or a theme. And hovering over each one of those will show you what page template is being loaded and it will show you what theme is actually being loaded. If your issue is somehow theme related or template related, I definitely recommend checking the Elementor debug bar because there's a chance that you could see that multiple themes are being loaded, maybe multiple templates are being loaded such as one user in my last video. They mentioned that they had two headers showing up and they realized it was just because two different templates were being loaded at the same time. Once you resolve your issue, make sure you come back to the Elementor's tool page, disable both the debug bar and the safe mode and hit save changes. Now guys, as a programmer and as a coder, I understand the frustration. It can be so frustrating when we run into issues or bugs, but if we actually take a step back and think about what Elementor is actually doing, they're allowing us to make a website by simply dragging and dropping, which previously that was only done by coding by hand. So it's really actually amazing that we're only running into a few tiny, small select problems, which do have solutions out there. And we've mentioned some of those solutions today, but if today's video did not resolve your issue, I do recommend a few things. First, check out my channel, see what other videos I have about resolving Elementor problems, issues, and bugs, because I do have other solutions and different manners of actually resolving problems. Second, I would recommend checking out Elementor's resources. They have a help page, they have a knowledge base, and they also have a Facebook group that a lot of people have been able to resolve their issues through that. And third will probably be the most helpful, and that is getting support directly from Elementor because you've got either Elementor or Pro or Elementor Cloud. And for you Elementor free users out there, it might be beneficial to upgrade just merely for the support. If you upgrade using that link down below in the description, you'll get access to Elementor Pro, which will have a ton of premium features, but on top of that, you'll also get access to the support. Imagine if you had to continue going through and diagnosing and debugging this issue for hours and hours and hours that would be worth the cost to me to just go ahead and upgrade to the premium version and get the support directly from Elementor. I firmly believe in Elementor and their products, and I know they want their users to have a great experience, so I highly recommend considering getting that support directly from them. And again, those links are down below in the description to Elementor Pro if you already have hosting or Elementor Cloud, an all-in-one hosting and Elementor Pro solution for a great price. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please drop a like and let me know if you guys came to a resolution in this video. Maybe something I mentioned, something you found, or even something totally new that you didn't even realize drop a comment down below, let us know. It also helps me know how you guys are able to find solutions to your issues with your websites. Again, thank you guys for watching and take care.